is this quantity is as good as a centrifugal force and this one is what mass of reciprocating that is of this part now temporary let assume that temporary let assume that we have a certain mass here m which is equivalent to this mass that equals to what r but actually this is the mass of what this piston but let temporary we have a one revolving mass at a radius equals to what r and because of this rotating mass are you getting a centrifugal force in this direction and is this centrifugal force is right now is m mass of r this mass r that is revolving mass into omega square multiplied by r and is this angle is theta so if i resolve this component along this direction if i resolve this along this direction is this component is same as mr into r into omega square into what cos theta and this one is same as this value so temporary we have to assume one revolving mass so component of this mass will be your primary force and the primary force will act along the <coughs> line of direction of stroke is this piston is only reciprocating or it will go up and down also only reciprocating so it will it has the forces only this side so right now i am assuming my piston is going this way now to balance this mass that is the rotating mass i have to keep i want to keep one mass somewhere here now this is single plane so shall i arrange the other mass in the opposite direction then is my rotating mass balance is complete and is this is radius equals to what rb this one equals to what mb and if the force produced by this is same as this force is my balancing of revolving mass is complete yes sir so what is this force produce this force is mb multiplied by what omega square is it multiplied by rb so first condition is that this force must equal to this force then static balance is done so for balancing we must have mr into omega square that is r must equals to mb multiplied by rb so this is necessary condition then only the balancing can be achieved and this is the only necessary condition to balance the revolving mass now is this angle is this angle is opposite to this this one is theta opposite angles are always equal so what is this component is it mb multiplied by omega square multiplied by rv multiplied by cos theta now since mb into rv mb into rb mb into rb is same as mr into r that is mr into r so is this force is 100% balanced now yes sir is a primary force is 100% balanced yes sir but even the primary force is balanced is it become a unbalanced force and is this unbalanced force will act on a line perpendicular to line of stroke what is this unbalanced force is mb multiplied by omega square multiplied by rb is it multiplied by what sin theta agree now you try to balance this with the extra mass and are you getting extra trouble here means you try to balance this then we have one more unbalanced mass so because of this vertical force though we have balanced the primary but this one is a unbalanced force because of this force the engine will start moving up and down so any attempt you try to make the balance of this one we are always getting this problem so how to reduce this problem instead of instead of balancing this 100% we will make some compromise we'll balance it partially instead of balancing this 100% we'll try to balance some fraction of it the standard fraction was taken as around Uh, 1 by 2 less than equal to c less than equals to 1 by 3 by 4 what is 3 by 4 points on five so around 50% to 75% will balance it 
if you try to balance this automatically this force will reduce and the adjustment of this one will be done by using the foundation otherwise we required very heavy foundation so because of this fraction we will balance this by a part of C and this one is also part of C ok now this time we have another problem that this force minus this force is it a still unbalanced force along the line of action because this value now is more as compared to this value so there is a some forces left on this side and is that force is this value minus this value but remember mb into rb is same as mr into r that is same value so what is the net unbalanced force along, along the line of action of stroke is it this value minus this value and this value I can very well write as C multiplied by MR multiplied by omega square multiplied by R <coughs> multiplied by what cos theta so what is the net balance force along x direction or along line of stroke unbalanced force along line of stroke equals to is MR is common to both omega square is common to both cos theta is common to so is it 1 minus C into MR into R into omega square into cos theta and the direction of this one is this way along the line of action this way similarly perpendicular and this MB into RB we will replace again by MR into R so this one is C multiplied by MR multiplied by R multiplied by omega square multiplied by sin theta and direction of this force is down force the resultant sum will be this force plus this force and can we obtain this resultant sum by using Pythagoras theorem so resultant unbalanced force the final equation for unbalanced force now this value is entirely dependent on value of theta. Singles 